Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! Frisk, dear, I must say, you sure know how to age with style. Gee, thanks, MTT. That means a lot coming from you. Oh, and you're still so cute! I could just eat you up! Wowza! Thanks, Metaton. But if you eat me up, how could I pose for you? <gasps> oh, yes, darling! Huh. Oh, you came! I'm sorry, I didn't notice you. Huh? You said you feel so irritated. You don't want to draw? Don't want to create? You even think of yourself as... bad? Hey, I don't think so. You've been good in my eyes. It's true. Your pictures are great. I, uh, too have. <laughs> No! No. Some things that have made me depressed. But look at me! I didn't give up. Trust me, everything will be better. Hehehe, <laughs> yes! So, you'll believe me, right? Don't stop! You're the best! With every painting, Look forward to completing them! Come on, bro! But Poppy! I don't wanna go back! Don't give up, okay? Promise me! A human physicist and mathematician once said that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And while my faith in humanity has diminished over the years, I can't say that that guy wasn't a genius. <laughs> I've lived through countless resets, and if there's one law of nature I've seen proven, it's that one. Everything we say or do affects the course of time. Everything affects everything else and there are no exceptions. But there's also only so far one can stray from the core thread of time. Minor changes can happen, maybe even a major change once in a while, but time always manages to move forward, altered and yet the same. So what happened? This is new. Sure, there have been timelines where the humans didn't exactly welcome us with open arms, but they've never not let us into the city before. They've never not given us a choice. So what happened? Was it something I did? Something the kid did? Something must have happened. Something I missed. But I was not deterred! I continued my search through the heavy underbrush and was rewarded with finding both the human and my- Hey guys! BROTHER! Oh, hello Sans. Would you like some soup? There's still some left. Nah, thanks, so, Al. You know that stuff that goes right through me. Sans, no puns. Well, if you're sure. How's the research coming? Um, it, it's it's slow, really slow. I'm not really having much luck at all, to tell you the truth. And it's actually kind of frustrating. Huh? Me? I did not know that you were working on something scientific, Dr. Alphys. Is that why you were not at the meeting tonight? Well, y yes. She's working on a little problem that's come up, Pat. That's all, nothing to worry about. Sans. Sans, we've kept it from them long enough. They deserve to know. The human's strange behavior wasn't the only thing that was new, unfortunately. Um, fine, yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay, where... where do, do I start? Um, Papyrus, remember how when we first arrived on the surface we all f felt a little dizzy? Yes, of course! All of us except Frisk! Exactly. 
That's because what has happened has only affected us monsters. You see, for hundreds of years, we've lived inside the magic barrier set in place by the human magicians of old, and, well, it's left some residual effects on, on some of us. The, the mountain had been full of concentrated human magic, and, well, after so long, monsters began to take in some of it, some kind of environmental adaption. It was such a small amount, we never noticed. But when the barrier fell, so did that magic. Now that that magic, which, unknowingly to the humans, enabled us to survive those first few generations in the underground is gone, we're... Uh, we're alright. But some destabilization had started to show up in some of us. Weakness that wasn't there before. That's what first got my attention. Little symptoms and some of us that pointed to glitches in their biological and magical composition. When I started looking into it, I came up with a theory I just told you. Of course, I, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. There's too much evidence supporting it. Um, does... Does that make any sense? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think what she's trying to say, bro, is that for generations, us monsters have been relying on a small boost of magic that wasn't ours. And now, with that extra magic gone, some health issues are popping up. Monsters aren't all that strong to begin with, not in relation to humans, but now we're even less than we thought. While that's not a problem for most, for others it is. But... but I feel fine. That's because the slight withdrawal of magic hasn't affected you much, and that's pretty much the norm. Within a month or so, there shouldn't even be a problem at all. Except for a few exceptions, the, the very old, the very young, and the weakest among us are the most at risk. So Gerson and some of the little children are in the most danger. And then... there's Sans. What?! <gasps> whoa, whoa, guys. It's okay, I'm fine. It's just because I have such a low HP. It means I feel the absence of that extra magic a bit more strongly than most. It's okay, Papyrus. I've been monitoring all those who have been affected, including Sans. They'll be fine. I just have to come up with something to boost their magic back up until their systems adapt to the surface. As long as they d don't use their magic, the symptoms should stay minimal. Oops. You used your magic?! I, uh, might have used it once today. Once?! Or twice? TWICE?! I just sort of, kind of, forgot. Sans, how could you forget?! I told you specifically not to! Out of everyone, you're the one most at risk! We don't even know if your HP even reaches one anymore! It could be less! What if you get into a fight with a human or something? Don't worry. Not gonna happen. We're getting out of here tomorrow. We... we are? Yep, that's what old Fluffy Buns decided. We thought it might be a good idea to give the humans some space, you know? Just until they cool down a bit. In the meantime, we're gonna go find someplace safe and peaceful to live. See? No problem. Which means we've got some packing to do. We're leaving tomorrow as soon as we can. But... but... Sans, you- I'll be fine. Feeling a little tired is no big deal for me. Yeah, that is because you are always tired! Yeah. Do the king and queen know about this? The sickness, I mean. Yeah, yeah, they know. Well, most of it. There's still a lot we don't understand about it, and getting all worked up over things won't help. That's why we waited so long to tell you and the kid. Well, I am glad you told me. Are... are you sure you are all right? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Yeah, I'm not so sure I believe you, brother. But I will accept that answer for now. 
That being said, Sans, <gasps> why don't you ever give me any warning about these things? Like us leaving! Whoa, Papa just did. Well, it wasn't warning enough! Packing is a precise and delicate process and must be done with care. And we brought everything we've ever owned with us, except the house. No, Pep, we could just throw everything into a bag or something. No, we cannot! Hey! Shh! Some of us are trying to sleep over here! Sorry! I will go and start packing, but I expect help, brother! I'll be right there, bro. Just got to talk to the kid for a second. Fine, fine, but don't be long. Good night, human frisk! I said we're trying to sleep! I'm sorry! I can't help being loud, it's just the way I am, I just... See you later, pup. I better go back to... I've got a lot of stuff. Science stuff, and some anime. A lot of anime. We're not uh, talking about this, Sans. You, you might be good at distracting Papyrus, but I've got this pressing on my mind constantly. P please, try not to use your magic until I'm certain that you won't hurt yourself, alright? You got it, Alf. Uh, alright. Good night. Night, Alphys. <laughs> what do you call a fish with no eyes? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't, don't do this now. I promise I won't get mad if you reset. Please. You're all I have left. Do not worry, human! I will protect you and guard you while your arm heals! The great papyrus will never leave your side! Everything will be alright, Frisk! Tis but a scratch! A scratch? Your arms off! No, they aren't! Alright, we'll call it a draw! But only because I think you're fabulous, darling! Frisk! What is it, Azriel? It's, it's, my horns! I have my horns! Horns? Horns! 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 Very confused, but let's just go with it.